Iron Man in the Batcave? Hey, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector. And today, I want to ask you a question: What do you guys think about me adding an Iron Man piece to the Bat Cave? This is something that I have been pondering for quite some time. And now that I have some space, should I make a little section of Iron Man stuff, or should I just stick to Batman? Um, I am very, very impressed with a brand new piece from Queen Studios. This is a one-third scale. We're seeing it at uh, on display right now at Wonderfest Bangkok, and I want to share all the information. It's also up for pre-order. I have the links down below if you're interested in ordering it. It is a regular and also a battle-damaged. The battle-damaged one is more expensive, but I think it looks really, really awesome, and I'm really seriously considering it. And so I do want to hear your thoughts and opinions if it's something that I should add to the Batcave or not. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to it again. Queen Studios, one-third scale Iron Man. Let's do it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right in again. Iron Man Mark 7, one-third scale Queen Studios. And this is the regular version, which I think looks really, really great. I think I tend to like the battle damage. I, I just love it. I love the aesthetic of the piece. And I love that we're getting some third scales in Iron Man. Uh, we've had a lot of quarter scales, we've had some half scales, we've had some life size, of course, but now we're getting more third scales. And this is very exciting. And Queen Studios has actually announced a whole lineup of third scales as part of this event. And wow, uh, some, some of you are gonna be in big, big trouble, right? Some of you, your wallets are not safe. You better run for the hills because I think there's gonna be some really great stuff coming from them. And as you can see from this, it's very fun. Yes, I know you're going to say, yes, it's another Iron Man piece. But come on, they're so cool though, right? I mean, they do such a good job on these. The base is amazing. The light-up feature is incredible. And I think it just looks awesome, has a great presence. And again, you have two different versions. Obviously, uh, the battle damaged one is going to be more expensive. I have those price points here uh, in just a bit at the end of the video. Um, look at that. Look at that. That is freaking insane how good that looks. I love it. Um, I've been weighing, you know, kind of doing the life-size bust thing, but I feel like this is the way to go. Like if I was going to get an Iron Man piece, this is, this is kind of it. Like, I feel like this would be definitely along the lines of something I love. Um, I am curious if it'll be a plug-in, um, LED or batteries. Um, so that, that is something I definitely want to look at, but I mean, look at this. This is the battle damage. This is the one that I would want. Um, I love the darker red. Uh, just uh, look how intimidating it looks. It looks so fantastic. I think the details are phenomenal here. I think Queen Studios has nailed um, every aspect of this piece. And uh, again, I'm not, you know, an Iron Man expert by any you know stretch of the imagination. So I don't know if this suit is 100% accurate, um, but it looks freaking, you know, just badass to me. I think it looks absolutely incredible. I mean, look at that. Look at the detail here. Look at the battle damage. Um, I just think it's awesome. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Again, I'm just, I'm kind of in, in awe by this piece. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, uh, but I think it looks really good. And this is, this is one, the first one in a long time that I'm like, ooh, do I need to add this to uh, my collection? I know it's not Batman, but man, it looks great. I mean, you, you guys cannot argue that. It just looks so awesome. Very, very cool. Um, uh, again, the price point is what it is. Um, you know, you're going to be paying for any third scale these days. You're going to be paying, you know, quite a bit, you know, over the $1,500 mark at easy. Um, and this is no exception. You know, both both versions are going to be over that. So, you know, again, it is what it is. But I love the detail. I love the thought and care Queen Studios has put into this piece. Um, but I just, I, again, I'm just kind of in, in, in awe by it. Uh, the, the lighting effect definitely reminds me of that great Sideshow Premium format, which looks amazing. Um, really, really like that piece a lot. And I think that they really did a phenomenal job. But this reminds me of that. Um, it looks like it might have some sort of like lighting swirl effect, which is going to be cool. So love it. And then this is the clean version. This is the regular. Um, uh, it's a definitely a brighter color red. Um, very sleek, very, you know, very modern looking. It just looks fantastic with the colors. The paint application looks really great to me. Um, I'm really liking what I'm seeing overall. Um, but I am curious as to which version you guys like better. Uh, do you like the clean better or do you like the more detailed version? Uh, maybe it depends on the price for you, of course. But I mean, look at that. It looks awesome. Um, 
maybe it would have been cool to have an arm out or something. I don't know, but I, I just think I really like what they've done here. I love the the head down. I, I just I really like this one. I feel like it could be complementing to my Detective Comics 1000. Uh, I think it'd be really cool. But again, Iron Man and Batman are my favorite characters, so that's why I'm considering this one. Um, the price point, as you can see here, 1935 uh, for the full price for the regular, and 2085 uh, just a little bit more. Um, and then the uh, 299 edition size. So again, the the, uh, the battle damage is definitely a little bit more, uh, a little bit pricier. But um, we also had it on display uh, right now, actually, at uh, Wonderfest Bangkok. So you guys can probably see more in the Facebook groups and other places. Hopefully, I'll have some video for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, look at that. I mean, which one do you guys like? Again, uh, you know, uh, the, the clean version, the battle damaged. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions, of course. As always, I love to hear your thoughts. But, man, oh man, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And again, Queen Studios, I really do feel like they are trying to establish themselves back on the map. I know it was kind of a quiet year a little bit this list this past year. And so I think that they're doing everything they can to say, hey, you know, we are here. We're not going anywhere. Uh, and we have some really exciting stuff coming your way. And I think especially if you're a Marvel fan, um, I think even more so than the DC right now, I think uh, Marvel is uh, going to be hitting hard for Queen. And, uh, you know, congratulations to anybody that picks this one up or any anything this year. Uh, just happy collecting to each and every one of you. Um, I love I love when stuff like this comes out because it's, it's it has a wow factor. And it's very, very cool indeed. Um, again, Queen Studios, one-third scale, Iron Man, Mark 7. Looking good from our friends over at Queen Studios. Just take a look at this, how awesome it looks. Love it, love it indeed. But again, I definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this one as we uh, wrap it up here. Again, let me know your, what your thoughts on the price too. Do you feel like it's competitive to other uh, statue companies? I would love to hear that as well. So there you guys have it. What do you guys think? Is it something that I should add to the collection or not? Should I stick to Batman or should I add a few non-Batman pieces? I'm also pondering whether I should keep my Vamprilla from Prime One Studio or if I should cancel her and get this. Again, I just don't know what to do. So, you know, let me know in the comments down below. So anyway, I think it's awesome. I think Queen Studios is definitely on a roll. They're definitely back in full force. Now, if they can continue to deliver on time, that's gonna be the key. But man, really, really awesome stuff. And I really do like this Iron Man a lot, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts if I should add it to the collection. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Hope you all are doing well. Continue to stay positive and just have a great, great weekend. I'll see you in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.